me then. Uh, this, well, yeah, this is a dedication. So some people will recognise this. Um, others of you take what you want from it. This is what I, I love about poetry: is the gaps in between, and people take what they want from it. I love it when people come up to me at the end and they say, "I love that one about the dog," and you say, "What one about?" Because <laughs> they've gone somewhere completely different. And they've taken your words and the gaps in between them and they've turned something else into something else. And they've had an experience that was only theirs. That, that's what spoken word is about and that's what makes it awesome. Yes. I've got passionate about this, got on the radio yesterday with Hannah. And I was going, it's, it's, right, it's rhythmical, right, but it's not music. And it's dramatic, but it's not theatre. And it's... It can be comic, but it's not comedy. It's just, it's spoken word. It's not a riddle. That's what it is. And they went, good description. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use that again. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, go get some passion about it. Um, there's a lot of spoken word going on. There's still a lot today. If you want to go and see it, there's some fantastic stuff. Shane Coulson and all sorts of people on the pay fringe, like Mark Grist, who was our first um, artist, our first guest. But we've also got still amazing free fringe stuff after this. We've got Rob Walton's Yellow Show. If you couldn't believe a man could transform this into a shrine to the colour yellow for an hour and you be doubled up and weeping with laughter, you need to stay here and see that because that is a power This last is called Dedication. This is for those who chose to suppose it because my clothes weren't hard enough, my hair not sharp enough, I wasn't worth knowing. This is for them with it etched on indelible yelling so that everyone can tell, giving me unmarked hell. This is for the ones with the sneers and the hair raised short above the ears and the jeers and the what are you doing here? This is for queers. This is for the girls with it written wide and bright. I love women, but only those that look like guys. Forcing a younger me to flatten my lines, narrow my eyes, disguise my femininity, right? Flee, push up bras and skulking bars with voice like boys. Lots of girls. Boys and pouting, pushing me into the path of gay girls, scared of my hair, and straight girls, scared of my stare. Both glaring, the latter on them, the latter with their eyes on the noisy boys watching me grind, my tighter on motions of conversion. Shall we grind? This is for two friends. Patience and time are others too real to name. The boys who love boys, but not too much noise, and who love me, but not as their heart, letting me sob on their sofa and skipping down the street. The entreaties of friends who mattered, and didn't mind the profile of Peter's and partners, only that they were kind. And this is for those women who looked beyond my stare and saw me brimming with the need to care, bare to the bone, almost poisoned with the importance of it all, and who let me fall. Emerge and be buoyed up in their arms. And yes, there was harm, but softened in those waters I came to this shape. And okay, I still can't play pool. And I look crap in plaid, but I'm glad to be stood here happily between two worlds, dressed only in my own colours. for everyone who's been at this microphone today. Um, we want to say a massive thank you to Faye for organising this. It's been consistently incredible. She's an amazing combat and she's worked her arse off for this and created a space where uh, women's voices can be heard and other voices. We've had the life. Scottish National Slam Chat, we've had the Singaporean National Slam Chat, we've had Shane motherfucking Coys out here. And all Woo! because of this woman and Woo! all for free. So put your hands together.